Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lauren and if you are returning, thank you so much for being here. Today's video is going to be a good old fashioned vlog. I am going to take you along for a day in my life as a PhD student and a content creator. It is currently 9.40 and my first meeting of the day is at 10 a.m. So right now I'm just going to kind of get my thoughts sorted for that, jot down a few notes to help guide the meeting. It is with one of my advisors and I want to kind of get her thoughts on how we should go about next steps of data analysis for some subjective data that we have that we've coded. We've had independent coders code some subjective data for us from my master's experiments actually. And so um, while we are not planning to include the subjective data in the primary publication from my master's, we might want to see if we can use it for a different publication later on. So that is what we are doing today is talking about that and I might chat with her a little bit about some dissertation planning stuff too. Super quick outfit of the day. This velvet navy blue top is from Gap. I got it back in the fall, but I was on their website yesterday and I saw that they are making this boyfriend style top. I believe that's what they're calling it is like a boyfriend style button up shirt or something. And they're making it in other colors and textures. And then I just have on these Levi's. I can't remember if these are 501s. I will put it in the description down below. I got these a few years ago and they're pretty big on me now, but I guess apparently that's the style anyway. So they work and they're super comfy for at home meetings and stuff like that. And then my shoes are a knockoff for the Ugg Cosette. I got these from Amazon. I will link them below. I feel like they're a good dupe for the Cosette. Um, the only thing I've noticed is that I think the sole might not be quite as wide, but that's not a big deal. They're comfy and much more affordable. And then for earrings, these are Dean Davidson. I'll see if they're still on the website. Um, he is definitely my favorite jewelry designer. Most of the hoops that I wear are Dean Davidson. And then my watch is a Tissot. I got this, uh, I bought this for myself, I'd say around three years ago. And it is my everyday watch and I absolutely love it. It is held up so nicely. Just got out of my first meeting of the day. It went well, it was very productive. I'm going to have a quick protein bar. I've been eating these lately. I posted about it on Instagram, I think like a week ago. Um, it's the Nugo dark chocolate chip, real dark chocolate vegan, contains no palm oil. I found this is the best nut-free, stevia-free protein bar on the market, personally. Um, it is filling. It doesn't seem to give me a stomach ache or a headache like others can. So at the moment, this is a good go-to for when I'm just having a busy day or maybe I'm in the lab or something like that. I don't have a lot of time to get something to eat. So I'm going to do this now. I need to take the next 20 minutes or so to prepare a quick slideshow for a new RA that I'm meeting with. I want to introduce him to the project that he'll be starting on. And so I think having some supplementary slides will be helpful for that process. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, I just finished my second meeting of the day, and now I'm going to just touch up my makeup a little bit, and then I'm going to film some reels, I think, and um, do some filming for another video where I'm talking more about the grad school acceptance process. I'm going to, I think, post uh, like a story on Instagram where I just ask people what questions they have and then 
depending on the responses I get, I might just kind of tailor it to what people are interested in hearing more about. The way that the lighting is in this house, uh, I'm probably going to use lighting on loose lighting on the side of my office here in a couple of hours. So I just want to get this stuff filmed. And then plus my brain basically shuts down around like three or 4 PM. I'm not as productive. Um, so trying to get all this taken care of. I'm also planning to make dinner tonight. I'm going to make a beef and barley soup, which takes a couple of hours to make. And I'd like to have it ready when Sam gets home from work because I think we might have time to go for a walk when he gets home, which would be wonderful. It's very cold out, but we just bundle up a bunch and it's good to get the movement in and even to deal with the cold. I feel like it's just good on the body and the nervous system. If you're curious, I'm using uh, Lancome Ideal Lip Liner. It's my go-to, the only lip liner I wear. And then I'm just going straight in with lip gloss. This is Tiramisu by NYX or NYX. It's winter and my skin is definitely dealing with it. I'm just trying to blur out the spots that I get on my nose from wearing glasses. So. Hopefully the makeup is looking good enough. You know how it is on those YouTube videos, quite revealing. All right, tea is steeping. And for lunch, I'm just having some leftover tomato soup that I made last night. With some oyster crackers on top. I was supposed to make the beef and barley last night, but I just wasn't in the mood. It like takes a little while, and by the time I finished with what I wanted to do for the day, some of which was relax, um, I just wasn't in the mood to make it. So. I made this on a whim just with stuff that we had and I think it's one of the best tomato soups I've ever made. It's kind of funny sometimes, I don't know, have you ever noticed this? Like you feel like you like your food better when you don't use a recipe sometimes. I love following like cookbook recipes and sometimes I find good recipes online, but I find when it comes to soups, I'm better off just doing my own thing and my own spices and yeah, I don't know. This has turned out really good. and. And it's just canned tomatoes. So good. <sighs> By the way, if you are using this green tea, which I've shown before, the Tea Tulia, um, that's cute. I've never read the name. It says that you can brew each pyramid tea bag twice. So, you don't have to throw it out after just one. So I didn't realize that until, I mean, this is like my second one of these. And then I finally read the back one day and I was like, oh my gosh, I could be using it for more. And the flavor is good on the second one. So just something to note. I just put the bag into like a little glass dish on um, my counter and let it dry out. And then it's good for the next day. So the soup is on. Sam's on his way home. He should be here soon. 
I will cover it once it starts simmering and then simmer it for around 30 minutes and then I'll add the barley and simmer it for around 30 minutes more and then it will be done. I am hungry and tired. It was a productive day. It went by quickly and yeah, I'm ready for a relaxing evening. So I got these t-shirts for $69.99 for a two pack. I'll link it for you guys. Two t-shirts. The dupe for a dupe. I like never eat that much for, for for lunch. Did you eat a lot there today? Not really, but it's like I, you know, I had like a couple pieces of chicken and like some rice and some salad and like some mac and cheese. There was no some some fruit. There was no dessert. There's no dessert. What? No, I'm just realizing it. Oh. So I think what I might do for the. What I might do for the potluck yes. is Tuesday when I get off work early, mm -hmm. make cookie dough, like make some chocolate chip cookie dough. My birthday Eve. The potluck's on like the 18th, I think. Oh. It's like Thursday. When's your birthday? What day's your birthday? Wednesday. Next, then it's like the next Wednesday. Okay. It's good. It's It's disgusting. <laughs>